Hey you guys, it's your girl T and I have this story and it's coming from Alabama. Now this story is crazy as hell. So over the weekend I was on social media and then all of a sudden I got sent a video of some damn prisoners with a nice ass iPhone 6. And they're sitting there recording themselves basically doing a prison riot. There's fires, there's everything. The guy who's narrating sounds like plies. And I'm like, what the hell, how, what, what is going on? And how is this on social media so fast? Where did he get access to YouTube and Facebook and Twitter? This whole situation was just crazy as hell. Soon after this video went viral, the news got a hold of it. And we found out that these prisoners were rioting in Atmore, Alabama. They had not only stabbed the warden, but they also stabbed several security guards. This entire situation is re damn dickless. I want you guys to go ahead and check out the news clip and the raw footage that this dude uploaded online. Check this out and I'm gonna come back with the rest of my commentary. I'm Pat Peterson at Holman Prison near Atmore where the situation here is under control, but a major riot overnight forced corrections officers to ask outside law enforcement agencies for help. You see this It's going down in these an inmate using a smuggled iPhone documented the riot. The video is laced with profanity and racial slurs and shows a violent and destructive scene of chaos, anarchy, and disorder. Look at this. I'm all cold. Look at what we're about this beer, man. At least 100 inmates were involved in the riot. The prison warden and at least one, possibly two corrections officers were stabbed multiple times. Fortunately, their injuries are not life-threatening, but the situation was so volatile, the prison sent out an urgent emergency assistance call to local police agencies. 15 Escambia County Sheriff's deputies, three state troopers, and five Atmore police officers rushed to the prison. When everybody was on high alert and tense, didn't know how it was gonna ha how it was gonna go. Or One of those officers was Atmore Police Sergeant Steve Morris. Sergeant Morris monitored the outside of the prison. We'll have more reaction on the riot from Morris tonight at 10. Reporting from Atmore, Pat Peterson, News 5. You feel me? Nigga just started a war. Nigga just started a police deal going on, man. Look at this shit. You see this shit? It's going down in this bit. It's going down in this bit, man. Look at this shit. Nigga done set the cube on fire, man. Nigga ain't playing around this bit. They need to free a nigga up out this bit, man. Look at this shit. I'm gonna give y'all an old cold look at what we're in. They need to let us up out this bit, man. He going down this bit, man. Look at this shit. Look, man, they were going on that whole, they were going on that whole prison, man. You feel me? Nigga that started the war, nigga that started the police, they were going on, man. Look at this shit. You see this shit? It's going down in this bit. It's going down in this bit, man. Look at this shit. Nigga done set the cube on fire, man. Nigga ain't playing around this bit. They need to free a nigga about this bit, man. I need to run back this game, man. Look at this shit. I'm gonna give y'all an old cold look at what we're in. They need to let us up out this bit, man. He going down this bit, man. Look at this shit. just saw the video so that took place at Holman Correctional Facility I mean I got so many damn questions first of all how do these guys in prison have a better damn phone than Young Turk like how does that work what's up what's up man I must do this one video I ain't gonna do no more just to answer all y'all questions I know everybody wondering Young Turk literally did a video vlog on a negative iPhone 6 this dude is sitting his ass in prison on a crisp iPhone 6 with nice HD clarity and everything else. I'm like, something is not right here. It's obvious that the phone was smuggled in, but it's just insane that they were able to record this and then post it onto social media. So it just goes to show you how much access these prisoners have to the outside world and how much things get snuck in for them to be able to even create this fire and to record all of this and then to post it on social media. So the whole situation is just crazy. You know, the thing that I 
find funny is that he's screaming that, you know, they need to free a nigga, free a nigga. And I'm like, but dude, you did something to get yourself locked up, okay? Nine times out of 10. Yeah, in very small cases, some people are innocent, but most people are guilty of the crime in which they committed. You know what I'm saying? And if you want to be free and you don't want to be in prison, you should not be committing crimes to land your ass in prison. You know what I'm saying? That's just a uh, common sense. You know, so I just find the whole situation crazy, but I'm not shocked because when men are doing, you know, 15 to 20 to 30 years, they have nothing to lose. And even if they get punished, if you're already doing 20 to 30 years in prison, what's another four or five years? Lucky for the warden and his security guards, they were not killed. But this whole situation is just re damn ridiculous. So anyways, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire situation that's coming from Alabama. All right, deuces. Hey, you guys, it's your girl, T. Make sure to subscribe, like, and share my videos. You can also visit lovelytea.com to purchase any merchandise. Also, don't forget to click the boxes down below to watch any of my previous videos. Talk to y'all later. Deuces.